in this video, I am going to discuss what collation in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So, what the collation? A collation is a configuration setting that determines how the database engine should treat character data at server, database, or column level. And here we can configure a character column with a unique data types. Here, invalid care, in care, or next to text, in text or non-unique tier types like uh, care, worker or text. So this is the query that I already written to save some times. So add here, uh, if db underscore student is not null, drop the database. Okay, so add here, I am going to create one or database, add here. So if uh, or db underscore db underscore id student is not null, then drop the database. So I'm going to create the database add here. So add here. It's a command completed successfully. Now here one database created with the name a student. Oh, okay. Here is the so create database a student. So it's a selected add here master database. So I'm going to create the database inside Adam. Now, uh, execute one more time. So, I did command completed successfully. Now, hereafter, let's uh, refresh the database. So, see, I have one database with the name student, it's uh, created. Now, here you can uh, find a table, and uh, here you can find a uh, table and one database, it's uh, created here. Hereafter, you can go security search here. You can find now. Hereafter, the next is verify the collation setting. So, I just uh, created one database with the name a student and here going to say uh, select a name collation name from this database. So, if you execute to this query, so add here this will display our database name. So, database name it's uh, created with the uh, student and here collation name Latin. Because at here when I created the database at the time I have given the collation Latin underscore gender hundred CSAS like this. Now here you can modify the collation also. So this is the verification and here you can alter the collect. So you have to use alter database student and here call it. So this time I'm going to change collation name with French underscore CI underscore AS. Now execute that and here command completed successfully. Now let's verify the same thing uh, here. So see right here this time that to alter the collection. So this is the things collection French CISS. Now here after uh, select name description from to know all the help related to collection. So you have to write to this query select name description. So it will give the help reader to collision. So see right here, this is the name, Albania. So this is the description here. Like this, there are bunch of different collision available. So this is the name, Arabic here, Arabic case insensitive like this. Right here, you can find the collision name with the different language. So right here, you can find the Bengali and this is the description about the collision. So see at your collection, see uh, Bosnia here after Latin hundred B. So it's a combination of uh, varchar, care and some number numeric values. Here Chinese. So there are so much so many uh, collection are available. Now the next is so if, if you want then here you can create the collection with uh, at your uh, on columns. So I am going to create one table with the name a tab. So first I am going to check there is so any table related to tab. So there is already tab. So I am going to delete that one. Now here after execute to this query. So there is a one table that created with the tab. Now here after refresh the table and go to the tab table. Here after there is a one collection that created on EMP. Now here you can check the properties also. So see right here, this is the property. So there is a one collection with the 
name of a created on the table when a year tab. So at here give the collection at here French. So see at here French C I S. Now here if you want then here you can change the collect name. So here you can use you have to use alter table tab and you have to alter column. So this is and here collect. So this time giving Latin underscore genders. Now execute that and here after execute that here after if you want then here you can refresh okay refresh that refresh the columns now here after let's go to database here after Adam there is one table that I created with the name tab and here you can check the columns so add here oh, this time the collect is now changed so this is the collection at here Latin underscore general underscore ci as now here after if you want then here you can take the help so execute sp help so see at here or server default to collision so this is the default collision latin underscore channel now here after select name description from sys.fm if you execute this query so if you execute to this query so here the same thing it's a describing at here name description from this underscore fn help collection or you can write at here you can give a filter condition or at your name emp underscore call it execute that so with emp underscore call it there is a one collection name latin under latin one underscore gender so this is the sub important point about the collection in Microsoft SQL Server. So a collection is a configuration setting that determines how the database engine should treat character data server database and database or column level. And you can apply the collection on database or you can apply the collection in or column also. Now the database or collection, right click on the or database here after go to properties and here you can find the collection. So SQL Latin general. At the time of uh, created database, I have given the collection name SQL Latin One Gender CPI. So that's why it's uh, displaying at here. So these are the things about the collection in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So if you go at here option, here you can find collection. Different collection are available at here. So whatever the things you can use at here. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.